Hi everybody, Al Bernstein here with another one of our quick hit videos. Uh, and this one, I'm going to talk about the fight this weekend in which Andre Ward, uh, one of the best pound for pound fighters in the world today, comes back to the ring after almost a year and a half layoff uh, to take on Paul Smith, who is a uh, contender from Great Britain, 32 year old. Uh, Ward is 31. And these two men will square off in Oakland, California, in the Oracle Arena, in fact, where we just saw the uh, recently the Golden State Warriors win the uh, NBA title. And Andre Ward, big fan of theirs, he would like to put on a stellar performance in his first fight back after a long protected layoff due to his legal issues with uh, the late Danny Goosen and his promotional company. But now Ward is back. And the man he takes on, uh, Paul Smith, is a veteran at 32 years of age who just fought for the WBO title against Arthur Abraham not once but twice. Lost two decisions, but he is a fighter who has beaten all the fighters he that are at the C and C plus level and B level, but has not been able to beat the better fighters like Abraham, lost to James DeGale, and lost to George Groves. But he takes on Andre Ward, hoping to catch Ward at a time when Ward uh, suffers from ring rust and maybe isn't at his best. Now, as for Ward, uh, we'll take a look uh, at the tail of the tape, and that'll tell us more about this matchup. Uh, let's take a look and see how these two men match up in the fight. Uh, Andre Ward, clearly younger, though we mentioned the, the, the layoff that he has had. Uh, and many of the numbers, very similar in terms of the physical uh, layout of these two men, uh, Ward with a, a little bit of a height advantage. Uh, and so when you look at the, the actual numbers, uh, they're very similar. And, and Paul Smith is, is physically a match for, uh, for Andre Ward. The problem, of course, is Ward is uh, on another level in terms of his skill set. Now, how much of that skill set will be eroded a little bit by the fact that he has been off? And in fact, it's not just that he's been off this year and a half. He only fought one time in the previous 12 months before that. So he has really been one of the most inactive fighters in boxing. He hopes to remedy that by getting this fight under his belt, winning, he hopes, and then moving on. Now, where will he move on to? It's a good question. This fight is at 172 pounds, a catch weight. Normally, Ward would fight at super middleweight at 168 pounds. And he has said uh, the 172 just seemed like a good idea with everyone concerned, uh, trainer Virgil Hunter, all his brain trust. He, and they did it, I think, for a variety of reasons. One, to not make him get down to 168 for this fight. And secondly, kind of start to test the waters of how he feels at a slightly higher weight class. Because while at 168 pounds, uh, there may not be that many appealing matches, although Gennady Golovkin would be one, uh, at 175, there are a number of challenges that Andre Ward might face that could provide uh, a higher um, revenue and uh, a higher uh, profile fights for him. Now, everyone would be watching Andre Ward very carefully, dissecting his every move to see whether, in fact, he's a little rusty in this fight. Uh, some have denigrated the choice of Paul Smith as an opponent. I I'm not one of those. Um, this is a fight he's coming back after a year and a half layoff, and Paul Smith just fought for a version of the super middleweight title twice and is a solid fighter. So there is nothing inappropriate about the choice uh, of opponents. Um, and uh, I think we're actually going to get a little bit of an idea of where Andre Ward is at. If Andre Ward can get back to where he was when he was more active in the sport, um, now especially there's an opportunity for him, I think, to stamp himself as one of the best, if not the best, pound for pound fighters in the world today. But first, he has to beat Paul Smith and show us that he can get back to top form. That's what he hopes to do this weekend uh, in Oakland, California. And for Andre Ward, a very important weekend, uh, a fight that will be uh, broadcast on BET um, television. And my pal Barry Tompkins, along with uh, Kevin Kelly, former world champion, will be doing the broadcasting. And it'll be a fight well worth looking at because we'll want to see how Andre Ward uh, – proceeds as he comes back into the sport. Uh, most people know that I am a big believer in his skill set 
and I think he's a spectacular fighter. And uh, I would love to see Andre Ward uh, in some of these bigger fights, whether they be at 168 or uh, at 175. And this fight will tell us how far he will go and whether those big fights are coming up in the near future. I'm Al Bernstein. This is another edition of Quick Hit.